Welcome. Today I will be telling you about a three store short unthreatening stories for the Halloween season. Here they are. A girl is home alone one night for the first time. She has a dog to keep her company. The girl listens to the news about a serial killer on the loose. She then goes to sleep after locking all the doors and windows but one, which doesn't close. Suddenly, she is awakened by a dripping sound. Scared thoroughly, she tries to go back to sleep and puts her hand down the bed for a reassuring lick from her dog. As the dripping sound continues, she goes to check on the taps in the kitchen, bathroom, and everywhere else but finds nothing. She returns to her bedroom and puts the hand on, down again for the dog to lick. The dripping sound continues and the girl is too frightened to fall asleep. But as her hand gets licked from under the bed, she slowly falls asleep. In the morning, when she opens the closet, she finds her dog killed and hangs upside down. The dripping message the dripping sound was from the dog's blood. On the closet doors, she sees a message. Humans can lick too. Two best friends, Mac and Samantha, who I'll call Sam for short, live in the same room of the college dormitory. Samantha goes out for a party while with her date while Meg stays back to study for the upcoming midterm exams. When Sam returns from the party, all the lights are off. She does not switch on the lights as her friend is asleep. Early in the morning, Sam tries to wake Meg up to discuss the exams. As Meg doesn't respond, Sam hesitantly uncovers her face to wake her up. She gets horrified to discover Meg's face turned black and blue and falls on the floor in a state of shock. She observes that Meg's study plan was all messed up and finds a note on the wall. Aren't you glad he doesn't turn on the lights? The murderer must have very much been in the room when Sam came the previous night. A man is driving home late in the night when he spots a girl asking for a hitchhike. Little girl, the pretty girl is dressed in a beautiful white dress and the, mon and the man offers, offers her a ride home. And they strike up an interesting conversation then drops the girl at her home. The next day while driving to go to work, he notices that the girl by accident has forgotten her sweater in the car. He drives towards her home to hand over the sweater when an old lady opens the door when he rings the bell. He narrates the incident which occurred last night and gives the sweater to the lady. The lady refuses to accept it, saying he's mistaken, and hearing this, the man is surprised and questions the lady again. He is dumbstruck when the lady says her daughter died in a car accident a couple years ago. The story was God, the vanishing hitchhiker. Thanks for listening to three unnerving stories. Hopefully, you don't think of these when you go to sleep because I do too. And I'm, I do get a little nervous, but I fall to sleep. Bye.